All right, so now we have one um, app that was created using the configurable app and specifically, or configurable app and specifically the, the basic viewer. So now I'd like to create a second app using um, the con another configurable uh, another configurable app. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to go into my map object again, and now I'm going to go into create web app again configurable apps. And now I'm going to pick a different configurable app. Uh, specifically, I'm going to play around with this geoform option. OK, so we'll do create. I'm going to call this geoform app. Again, it pulled in our tags. We'll do exam head in a summary, example, geoform app. And it'll get saved to this mon force folder in my content. So I'm going to hit done, and that should launch the uh, configurations. Note that different configurable apps will have different configuration settings. Um, so again, it just kind of depends on on the on the uh, the template that you're using. All right, so I'm gonna go to the next. First thing you need to ask is the map. It already pulled in our Mon Forest map, but you could change it if you want. So that's good. Then we need to know what layer that can be edited into, and that's going to be our point layer, which is inside of that Mon Forest Wildlife uh, hosted feature layer that we created. All right, um, this will be the title, so I'm just going to call it um, Wildlife Sightings Report. Or I'll do Report Wildlife Sightings. And then you could add a logo, either via a web link or, or, a, or a file if you have that, if you have one available. Um, instructions, so I'm just going to put in please uh, fill out page to upload a wildlife sighting. Might need more explanation than that, but again, it's just this demonstration. Okay, and then button. Again, this is what's going to show up in the submit button. So we'll do submit citing. And then view submission text. We'll just do um, cite or citing submitted. Okay, and then we'll go to next again. This is setting up what should be filled out. So basically, we're saying that they can fill out the signing type, the signing date, and the comment. Those are enabled. Um, they can put attachments, but the attachments are not required. Um, and then we can put some text in for the button for uploading attachments. So I'm just going to put upload uh, picture or video. I don't think we need any descriptions, so I'm going to move on from that. And now these are some default uh, form templates. So this first one is basic Bootstrap. Uh, Bootstrap is a CSS library, so it's for like website uh, styling. So like this dark. There's again a bunch of them. I'm going to use this slate one. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so we'll go to next. Uh, this is the unique identifier. That's what will show up on the map. That looks fine. Um, think this is good. I don't really think we really need to change anything else. So let's go to next. These are just some options. I'm going to change the pen to like a green pen. Everything else looks good. Note that they can like share on social media when they upload something. And then this will provide a preview of our map. So that's what the page should look like. Okay. That looks good. And then if we hit next, then we can do save, and that will generate that app. Um, here's the link to share, and then you can share on social media. So we'll do close. All right, so um, let's go back to our ArcGIS Online, and I'll go back to content. And here's our app should be, uh, here's our Geoform app. So let's just make sure it's working. So we'll do, again, if you if you need to make changes, you can go in here and configure. You can change sharing options. Uh, just to load it, we'll do view app. All right, so there's the web address for it. 
and then we can fill out the form and see if it works. So selection type, we'll set that to we'll do birds, a date. Let's pick a different date here, and then um, comment. We'll say so a I don't know red tail hawk. And then again, you could upload an image. Um, here you can put, you can input your, your, the geographic data for your sighting as like lat long coordinates or by searching. You can also use the map. So if we, uh, I'm just gonna zoom into an area. I'll just do in this valley here. So that added the, the point. And down here we have our submit sighting and our sighting submitted button. So we hit submit sighting. And then that tells you that it was successfully submitted. And then that'll take you to a map view of the, of the output there. And you can see that that was added. All right, so that looks good. So I'm gonna turn that off. Just get rid of this. And um, go back to the content. Okay, so now we have two apps. So in the next example, I'm gonna show you how to create a, a data dashboard.